Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to remove a stuck on spacer. So this spacer has been on the car for some time now since I bought the car. So I've never actually took them off, but it's, it's time for me to replace the pads and discs and I can't remove it. So for this job, you will need a heavy hammer, a smaller hammer, a heat gun. These are metal prying tools of different sizes, it'd be ideal to have two. A small chisel or a screwdriver and wire brush and some brake cleaner and WD-40. Step one, safety is the most important thing, so get your goggles on. I posted this online on my Instagram, follow me on Instagram here, um, and I got a few suggestions, so that's exactly what we're doing. First thing you want to do is heat out of this spacer. So that's what we're gonna do. We found that the blowtorch doesn't work as well, so heat gun is a bit more um, even and it's not going to set anything on fire. So we're just gonna blast this for about five minutes. Previous to the heating step, we actually left some WD-40 and some brake cleaner to kind of get through anything that's in here overnight. Now, this is not necessary, but if you if the car is packed up, you may as well give it the best chance you've got. So, step two, I'm going to use a hammer to hit it as hard as I can. Maybe try it at a 45 degree angle here as well. Because I'm replacing the discs, I don't really care about them. And I will probably be replacing the spacers because uh, the ones on the other side are absolutely wrecked from me trying to take them off. So I don't really care about them. So if you do care about them, use a rubber mallet, but I don't, so just give it some socks. Keep doing this, heating, beating, heating and beating. So you might be here for a while, it might be short, but the other side took way too long. So um, we'll just see how, how long this takes. Two hours later. You can get yours in the off and it's absolutely wrecked we're gonna have to get new ones I think you have to get a bit of a chisel going in first into the spacer so there's a bit of gap that you can actually press like do the hammer against and then it kind of opens another air pocket somewhere else um, but yeah I think these have been on for a while and it doesn't look like there was any copper grease underneath it so 
girls and boys learn to put on some copper grease between your actual hub and your spacer otherwise you're gonna have such a pain trying to take this off and obviously the reason why we're trying to take this off is because we're changing the discs which you can see the screw for that is here the spacer was actually blocking it so you need to access this point for changing the discs the discs aren't too bad but knowing sorry they're all rusted like this because the car has been sitting for a while it's off the road for now so we're doing all the little jobs but yeah they don't really need to be done but we're doing them anyway just as a just as a thing to do really isn't it um well i've had the car for over a year now and you know i put on some mileage last year onto it so if i want to bring it on track it'd be nice to have new discs and pads on the back anyway so so that's a wrap for the video that is how you take off stuck spacers and if you're putting new ones on make sure you put some copper grease on behind them and on the hub so that you don't run into this issue again so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye step one safety is the most important thing so get your goggles on <laughs>